Hey trolls, fear mongers, and friends, get your keyboards ready to call me names because we are talking about Fukushima again. Howdy friends, Trace here reporting for D News. The Fukushima nuclear plant has been slowly deteriorating since it was struck by a large earthquake in March of 2011. Now, almost three years since the meltdown, the mob is still out there trying to make others believe there is deadly Japanese radiation hitting the west coast of the US and killing animals. Last month, an anonymous man took a Geiger counter to Pacifica State Beach here in the San Francisco Bay Area and posted a video of his findings. This dude is awesome. I love his moxie. I petitioned my boss to get a Geiger counter so I could go to the beach and check it out for myself. If there is high levels of radiation out there, guys, I wanna know about it. Good science means repetition and documentation. While my executive producer looked into renting a Geiger counter, not easy to do, I started researching. Now, as you can see, I'm not on a beach. So that should tell you something. There is no real reason for me to go there. The video became so popular that days after it was posted, all kinds of government officials were on the beach with radiation sensing equipment. They determined there was elevated radiation, but it wasn't severe. Obviously, the conspiracy hawks freaked out. But a few searches, and they might have calmed down a bit. Geiger counters don't actually work that way. A Geiger counter measures ionizing radiation of all kinds, X-ray, gamma, alpha, and beta. Geiger counters on the counts per minute setting, like in the video, measure the number of decaying atoms detected in a minute. Every day, hanging out at work, in your kitchen, or on a beach, you might get 100 CPM in a day. On this beach, it goes cray cray, hitting seven times normal for background radiation. Why? We don't really know yet. It could be many different reasons. So, so many. This isn't CSI or Star Trek. Geiger counters only detect radiation. They cannot analyze it. There's no way to tell if it's from Fukushima or a nuclear bomb or whatever just using a Geiger counter. Bananas are naturally radioactive with potassium-50 and produce alpha radiation. If there was a crate of bananas on that beach, the old Geiger counter would be a clicking. The California Department of Public Health has determined it was naturally occurring radiation, though, again, they don't know the exact source. If you put a Geiger counter over a piece of red Fiesta ware from the 30s, it would register 30,000 CPM. 30,000. Here is a video from 2010 of a dude doing just that. These plates are still made today, and though they're technically radioactive, they aren't dangerous. Fukushima is still a danger to Japan and the bottom feeding fish and wildlife in the immediate area around the Fukushima plant, but not to California or Mexico or Canada or Hawaii or the fish and wildlife in the rest of the Pacific. Does this alleviate your concerns? Does it help? Tell us your thoughts down below. Tweet at us, Facebook message us, whatever. And thanks a lot for watching D News.